strings on the banjo. This one's tricky. Look, one, two, three, four, five. five. What's that circle thing look like? A drum, right. So there's a drum underneath the strings. Isn't that kind of weird? So you got this drum and that makes all the sound from the strings go out toward you. Makes it really kind of loud. Think about this if you're going to play one because it's going to be loud in your house too. You know? about the banjo. It was written by Stephen Foster, and he wrote this song, and he sold it for $10. Sold it to another man, and it became the number one song in the country. <laughs> and he sold it for $10. The other man made thousands and thousands of dollars, and this was, you know, years ago. So if you write a number one song, don't sell it for $10. Okay, get at least $11 out of it, you know, just to, anyway, this is called, Oh Susanna, Oh Susanna, Don't You Cry For Me, I Come From Alabama With A Banjo On My Knee. It doesn't make any sense, it just rhymes, okay? And it's got rain in it, so it's a little bit of water, but... What's a cow sound like? Moo, right. What letter does moo start with? M. M. What letter does milk start with? M. M. Coincidence, you think? Huh? All right, think about that. Okay, well, help me out with this old McDonald's song. Here we go. Oh, McDonald's had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm, he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here and there. and all of a sudden a bee comes and starts, you know, buzzing around his head and it's going like this. What's a bee sound like? Bzz, right. So, oh, what letter does B start with? That was a little too easy, wasn't it? Okay, right, help me out with this. And on this farm we had a bee, E-I-E-I-O. With a bzz here and a bzz there, here a bzz, there a bzz, everywhere a bzz. Him. So he jumped into his pond because he was hoping the bee wouldn't follow him. Made a big splash. In the pond, he sees another animal. What would he see? Could be a fish, could be a duck, could be an alligator or a frog, right? Okay. Let's do duck because I know what a duck sounds like. Okay. Well, what, what does a duck say? Quack. Quack. What letter does quack start with? 
You oh, you guys are smart. Okay. <laughs> wet, you know, his shoes are wet. He has to go home and change his clothes. But on the way home, he sees a big mud puddle. What would be in the mud puddle? Pig. A pig. Right. Let's do that one. Good job. This next song is about a little bug. And these are, when you have a picnic, these little bugs always show up at your picnic. What are they? And Sprite. Sometimes uncles come to picnics too, you know, if it's a family picnic. But now these ants are marching because it's starting to rain. So we gotta march. Everybody stand up. You gotta stand up and you gotta do what I'm doing, okay? Good. Yes, we're marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. Good. Yes, we're marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. That's the right way to say it. But since we're not in Hawaii, I guess ukulele is what we say here. And it's got four strings. That word ukulele means jumping flea. They think your little fingers look like little fleas jumping around here. Kind of do, I guess. I, I don't really watch fleas a lot, but. Okay, but we're gonna do a song about Hawaii. It talks about a lot of little things about Hawaii. But at the end, it talks about the state fish of Hawaii. Anybody know the name of the state fish of Hawaii? It's the humu humu nuku nuku apua a. That's one fish. I mean, that's you know, it's, just, it's only this big. But you guys got to learn this because it's just such a ridiculous name. So everybody, repeat after me: humu humu, nuku nuku, apua a. <laughs> the last dog cracks me up. Okay, do it again: humu humu, nuku nuku, apua a. Okay, good. We call it the trigger fish here, but it's a lot easier to say. But okay, so when we get to the end, we're going to sing this together at the end of the song. Okay, I want to go back to my little grass shack in Kealakakua, Hawaii. I want to be with all the Connies and Wahinis that I knew long ago. I want to hear the guitars play on the beach at home now, now. I want to hear the old Hawaiian sing Como mai no ka uai ka haliwa la ka ha It won't be long till my ship goes sailing back to Kona A grand old place that's always fair to see You're telling me I'm just a little Hawaiian and old sick island boy I want to go back to my fish and toy I want to go back to my little grass shack Hawaii. Hey, here's the fish. Where the hoo 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 that's a great Scrabble word, by the way, if you guys play Scrabble. All right, well, 
So we're going to do, this next song is called the Banana Boat Song. So it's about loading banana boats. And in Jamaica, they load banana boats at night because in the daytime it's so hot. They don't want to do it in the daytime. So people work all night loading these banana boats, huge bunches of bananas. And, um, and I guess it's a dangerous job because inside these huge bunches of bananas are spiders. And they, um, we call them tarantulas. Okay, so, so you got tarantulas, it's dark, you're moving these, you know. So when daytime comes, you just want to go home. So that's what this song is about. It's about day oh, day oh, daylight come, and me want to go home. So okay. it goes, day oh, it's a day oh. Daylight come and you want to go home. But day oh, it's a day oh. Daylight come and you want to go home. Sing with me. Djembe, that's an African. Doesn't this look like a big flashlight, though? Yeah, maybe just to me, I don't know. But listen, when you play it, if where you hit it makes a, a big difference. If you hit the middle, it's gonna sound different than the sides. So here's what the middle sounds like. The big sound, right? This will wake your parents up early in the morning, let me tell you, okay. Now if you hit the side, not so loud. Still wake your parents up, but not as fast, okay? like a, a rain dance thing and so for this thing you get a tap on your legs or, or tap on the floor if you want or your little brother or something you know, no don't tap on your little brother I'm just kidding about that okay now go oh That was really good. Well, heard this song. What's that from? Star Wars, right? So spaceship. So music can do all these things. You really you think about adventure when you hear that. Well, this is the clarinet. I'm not going to squeak any more at you, but that's the reed. It's a woodwind instrument. What's it called? Saxophone. And it's made out of this metal brass, and then it's got all these other metal things, but it's got the little piece of wood up at the top, too. So it's, it's kind of both, like I said. This one's, you think it'll be louder or softer? Louder. Louder, right. Got to lick this thing, too, yeah. <laughs> Quite a bit louder, huh? A lot, a lot of sound because of this. And this is good because when they started jazz with these African rhythms, they used things like saxophones to play along. They wanted it to be loud. So let's do something. Help me out. <laughs> 